Hi students, today we have to do some problems related to universal law of gravitation. In the previous class, we studied about Newton's law of gravitation, that is universal law of gravitation. There is a question. The mass of the earth is 6, 6 into 10 raised to 24 kilograms and that of moon is 7.4 into 10 raised to 22 kilograms. It's a huge amount. Then, if the distance between the Earth and Moon is 3.84 into 10 raised to 5 kilometer, calculate the force exerted by the Earth on the Moon. We have to calculate the force between Earth and Moon. Distance between them is d is 3.84 into 10 raised to 5 kilometer, not in meter. So we want to convert this kilometer into meter. That is 3.84 into 10 raised to 8 meter. It is the distance. Then mass of earth and mass of moon. Mass of earth is 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to 24 kilogram. Then mass of moon is 7.4 into 10 raised to 22 kilogram. So these are the given values. What do we have to find? Calculate the force exerted between these two objects. So we know that from universal law of gravitation, F is equal to G M M divided by D square. This M is mass of Earth and here this M is mass of Moon. Okay. Just to substitute these values. G value is given. 6.7 into 10 raised to minus 11. This is approximate value. This is only needed. Okay. We can take this value for G. G is equal to 6.7 into 10 raised to minus 11 and M, mass of Earth is 6.6 6 into 10 raised to 24 and the mass of Moon is 7.4 into 10 raised to 22 and divided by D square, D square, that means 3.84 into 10 raised to 8, the whole square. Okay, the whole square. We want to simplify this term. Just take this all point, these terms, this values jointly together and take this 10 raised to hours in together. How it is? It is positive, it is positive, it is negative. So just add this 22 and 24, we get 46. Minus 11 because it is minus. Minus 11 is 35. So the total power of that term is 10 raised to 35. Others 6.7 into 6 into 67.4. That values are jointly uh, multiplied together. What is the uh, next term denominator? 3.84 the whole square means 3.84 into 3.84. Then 10 raised to 8 the whole square. 10 raised to 8 the whole square means 8 into 2, 16. 10 raised to 16. Okay, so we want to simplify this term here. First, Cancel these powers. 35 minus 16, 19. So it is the power. 10 raised to 19 is the total value. Then uh, the, we want to write the answer of 6.7 into 6 into 7.4. The answer is 29748. But there is a 2 value. So take that point here. We get 27. Uh, 297.48 into 10 raised to 90 divided by uh, this answer. Multiply this 3.84 into 3.84, we get this value and uh, point take this point here, we get 14.7456. Just to divide these two value, you will get 20.17 into 10 raised to 90. We can Rearrange. This is also the correct answer. If you rearrange this negative, uh, this 19 into 20, that means we add a zero here. So we can take this 20 into 2. 2 point. This uh, what we have to do is the uh, take this point into here. Then it becomes 10 raised to 20. So 2.017 into 10 raised to 20 is the force it, Newton is the attractive force between Earth and Moon. 
that is why moon is rotating uh, around this earth this is the uh, centripetal force for the rotational rotational motion of moon around earth what's the value it's a huge amount 2.017 into 10 raised to 20 20 zeros are there so it's a huge amount is the attractive force between earth and the moon okay so it's a huge amount this calculated from newton's law of gravitation okay let us do another problem look at the board and read the question what is the magnitude of gravitational force between the earth and an object okay here is earth and a person standing here then what is the force between this person and earth so one object is this person and another object is here but the values are given the attractive force between these two between the earth and one kilogram object it is not a person but actually an object uh, having a mass of one kilogram having a mass of one kilogram so just take a body having mass one kilogram here and what is the attractive force between this object and earth that force is leads to this object to fall down so how much that force is to find okay so you can find the answer by using newton's law of gravitation okay what are the given quantities mass of the earth is 6.6 into 10 raised to 24 uh, kilogram and the radius of earth radius of earth we calculate the distance from this position to the center of earth so the radius of earth is the distance okay so 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 is the distance between the object and the earth actually it is this object is uh, placed on the surface of earth but the distance is calculated from the center of earth to that point so it is the earth from the center from the center point we can calculate the distance so d is equal to 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter that is the radius of earth then we want to find the force what is the equation f is equal to gmm divided by d square substitute the values g is equal to 6.7 into 10 raised to minus 11 into m mass of earth 6 into 10 raised to 24 and the mass of that object is only one kilogram so just to add, add one and just to substitute the value as one and d square 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 the whole square just to uh, simplify this term 6.7 into 6 just to uh, join to, together these two objects okay then 10 raised to minus 11 into 10 raised to 24 means 24 minus 11 how much it is 30 so 6.7 into 6 into 10 raised to 13 divided by 6.4 the whole square means 6.4 into 6.4 the whole square 10 raised to 6 the whole square means and 6 into 2 that's 12 10 raised to 12 then cancel this 13 and 12 and there is only 1 is left 12 uh, 30 minus 12 is 1 so 10 raised to 1 is 10 then 6.7 into 6 is 14.2 6.4 into 6.4 is 40.96 so 14.2 into 10 is 402 divided by 40.96 is equal to 9.81 newton is the answer so an object having one kilogram has a mass as a force attractive force between the earth and that object is 9. 81 into 9.81 newton how that force is acting downward okay